What's up guys, welcome back to another video. Today we are going to be working on the Dodge again. Uh, so today we're not gonna be doing a whole lot to this today because my dad is sick with COVID and I kind of needed his help for some stuff on this truck. So I'm gonna take my rear bumper off. Um, I'm gonna take these badges off. And then I might take that tailgate cover off. And then I don't know what I'm gonna do with this yet. I might throw this outside, put some bricks on top of it just so we can, uh, so it doesn't like blow away or anything because South Dakota's winds are absolutely ridiculous. But I already got the creeper down here. We should probably go under here. We're gonna see where we have to go to. So up here, I'll take these out, I'm guessing. Or is that for... No, that's for the bumper. Okay. So we gotta take that off. And it's the same right there. These these bolts are the exact same in the front, the way that those are. So we just gotta come in and loosen those bolts up. The bumper. Oh, and right here too. So, because that goes on into right here and I already got a roll pan for this so I'm gonna have to but yeah if you guys haven't seen this exhaust that I got installed it moves around a tiny bit but not as much as it used to uh, I had to have the guy weld in more supports because I had this exhaust break on me once so it welded all the way around here it's the exact same way over here but look how clean it is under this truck guys very clean we saw this but i don't have a spare tire yet to put under here i'll probably use one of these wheels to put under here so i can have a spare tire but yeah we're gonna we're gonna try and take this bumper off real quick it shouldn't be too difficult and I also got to unplug these as well. And yeah, I want to get LED lights for in here anyways. But yeah, so. And then this bumper, I'm going to try and list on Facebook. Because uh, I won't be able to paint this anyways when I paint the truck. So if, let's say I can't use a roll pan, I'll probably get a paintable bumper anyways. And I got to put my other bumper up for sale. And uh yeah so i'm gonna get to work on taking this off real quick and uh yeah all right guys so i got the rear bumper taken off as y'all can see it looks insanely goofy with my tips i was just hanging out like how far out these things i never realized these things hang out that far that's crazy imagine that with my rope in Jeez, it's gonna be nuts but Got that off, I got it sitting over here. I got it with a license plate holder right here. Took a picture of this, because at some point I'm gonna list this. You know I have noticed how bad the dents really are in this thing, so might junk it instead, I don't know yet. We'll, we'll see what people say, but then took a picture of this. I'm gonna post just this on Facebook for right now. Uh, yeah, so, but and then I'm gonna mark it with the second gen brackets here to put the fourth gen on a second gen next we're gonna take the badges off i'll put this stuff away because i'm done with this stuff right now so put the badges away or take the badges off and then yeah then we're gonna take actually while we're at it before i get to that i want to take this plastic piece off right here let me show y'all oh gosh my tailgate is a little messed up. So we got all these, as y'all can see. So we're gonna take all these off to take this off. Just notice that there's, that's interesting, isn't it? So yeah, and then this might take this off too. As you guys can see, that's where I used to have flag poles at, but I got one for my hitch instead. That I made at school, so that will be on soon. But yeah, so we're gonna take this off and then the badges. But I'll show you how I do the badges because I did it up here and on the other side as well. So yeah. So I got all that stuff cleaned up, back the truck up, and I got this. 
This is a dent puller kit that we have. You guys can kind of, you know, the only reason I'm using this is because of this guy right here. So yeah, so that's the only good thing that we're gonna be using. So what I wanna do is I want to heat up this, just all around that. I'm gonna heat it up with a heat gun. And then I'm gonna take this and I'm gonna go under it kind of like this, and I'm gonna peel it all off after I heat it up. It'll make it so much easier and all that. This side and then the other side, and then it's all debadged and stuff. So that's the way I do it. Uh, with the trim that was down here, that's how I did it. With the trim on my tailgate back there, that's how I did it. So then that was just the easiest for me. So we're gonna try that. We're gonna take these badges off, and we're gonna see how this thing looks. I think it'll look so much better. I don't know why I haven't done this before, but uh, yeah, let's, uh, let's do that real quick. All right, so I got my heat gun here. I already took this badge off, but for some reason I had the thought of not using the heat gun and I just used this. It came off one piece, but uh, I'm gonna have to figure out a good way to take that off. But I'm gonna take my heat gun, let my heat gun warm up, and then I'm gonna try and take this off. And then we're gonna do the other side, but uh, I'm gonna let this warm up and then I'll come back. All right, so I let it, I let it warm up a little bit. I took the rest of the black stuff off this badge. Now what we're gonna do, try heating around it. Now, I don't really want to break mine because uh, I want to keep it. It's not like I'm going to put it back on. It'd just be kind of nice to have it. I was just going to like hang it up in my room or something like that. But heat it up. Get under it. Try not to break it. The reason why I want to go under it and not off to the side seems like uh, it would be easier for it to take off and it won't break doing it that way. And there we go. The logo is off. Uh, usually there is going to be there is usually going to be this black stuff on there when you take it off. Just continue using your heat gun to it. And if you use your heat gun, you can still get that off. So I'll put this up on the bench, and I'm going to take this off, and then we're going to repeat the other side. I'm lazy, I'm getting a chair. No. All right, now I'm gonna use a chair because I'm lazy and I don't like being on my knees. That sounded extremely weird, but you know what? I've been doing this for 10 minutes, by the way. We're gonna try something else real quick. It's worked before on this. We're gonna try it on this. Oh, look at my camera, it actually looks kinda decent. Okay, well, I'm gonna grab something and we're gonna try wiping this off. Hold on. All right, I nearly died getting this, but I, uh, it's a lacquer thinner. It's worked before, my red Mustang. You all saw the video of my red Mustang. Some idiot plasti dipped the entire top half of the car. 
So I had to use this stuff, and I'm gonna use it again to wipe this off. I've done it before, so. Now, is this good for my paint? Um, I don't think so. Maybe not. I mean, it was okay on my car, so. Okay, so lacquer like thinner can sometimes work as well. It's kind of, it, kind of, it actually works, it's good. I'm gonna have to blur out every single time I turn around so Zoe doesn't take a screenshot of my ass. Anyways. Okay, so now what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna wipe that surface off, not with this. I'm gonna grab something else. Now with the lacquer thinner, what you wanna do is when you're done using it, you wanna put the cap back on. So I'm gonna wipe this off with a different rag and then we'll do the other side. I'm not gonna film the other side. This took way too long just to do this one side. So I'm gonna wipe this off. That looks perfect. Yeah, you're obviously gonna tell because that's the old paint that's still under that. The nice paint, what it looks like the yeah, anyways, the side's debadged now. And what we're gonna do now is I'm gonna go to the other side. I'm gonna do the other side and then the entire truck is debadged, finally. I don't know why it took me this long to do it, but finally, debadged. Just like that, the badges are off, finally. I'm gonna show you the other side real quick. All right. Bam, that side's off. So, now my plan is I'm gonna pull this outside so I'm gonna take my bed liner out, throw up my dad's old bed we have sent out back. I got this in here too. And I'll put something on top of this, weigh it down so it doesn't blow away. Cause this thing is stupid light and it's super easy to just take out of the bed and it, it, it'll probably want to try and blow away. So I'm gonna take, I have screws that are ran up there to hold it. I don't know if that's the way it was on these trucks, but I'm getting rid of this cause I'm putting spray and bed liner on this thing. So I don't need bed liner. I'll probably just trash it. I don't, I don't think anybody wants it. It's cut down there and I have rails. So anyways, I'm gonna unbolt this real quick, pull this truck outside, pull this out. And I wanna get pictures of this outside anyways. And then I'll come back in here. I'll pull the fender liners out. But the problem is I'm gonna have to take, I'm, gonna, I'm, I'm probably just gonna take all my rock lights out as I'm doing anyways, because a friend of mine wants my rock lights and I'm getting new rock lights, so I don't need them. But uh, yeah, we're gonna do that real quick. Well, that's what she looks like outside. Yes, I do have one aftermarket wheel on here. You know. Looking good. I can't wait for these mirror lights to get hooked up. But there she is. Bed cover is on there. starts going better he's gonna help me uh hook the mirrors up might take my tail lights out too and uh yeah and at some point the bed will be ready to pull I'm super excited like i pulled my rock lights out too so i'm pull this back in the shop it's gonna be a little a little longer until she comes back out but i'm very very excited for this Alright guys, we're back working on the truck. It is currently Black Friday today. We're gonna work on this. I got my roll pan on this box over here and we tried test fitting this yesterday. We found out we gotta take the hitch receiver off. There is three bolts on each side. Plug in right there where I dropped the hitch receiver. We're gonna put this on. I might have to do some tweaking with this to get the hitch receiver to work because I still wanna keep my hitch receiver and I don't want it to be through the license plate because my truck is already tall enough as it is. I don't want to buy a bigger drop hitch. So yeah, we're gonna test fit this on and maybe wire up the mirrors today. I don't know exactly what we're doing. I'm gonna get my tail lights off cause I didn't last time. And we got to get this bed off at some point too. 
Once we've test fit the roll pan, because we're gonna peel her under the entire bed. So at some point we need to get this bed off. I don't know exactly when that's happening. If the truck looks kinda, yeah, I kinda have to set up this way just so it, you know. But yeah, we're gonna get this, uh, we're gonna get working on this old girl, get this uh, roll pan test fitted. So uh, yeah. Okay, it is uh, Saturday and we got quite a bit done to this thing. Took my cab lights off, mirrors are... Oh, battery charger is plugged in. This thing is uh, dead because we, we got the fog lights working, we have the mirrors working, and so the blinkers work. That works, which is awesome. So right now, or I guess since yesterday, uh, today I took the taillights off. Jeez, i uh, been trying to take that off, but I kind of stopped working on that. My third brake light is off. I'm trying to take the bed rails out, but that bolt right there is kind of being a pain. So, I, so I'm trying to figure out what I want to do with that. So yeah, so doing a little bit to this thing. Hopefully we start sanding the bed soon. I don't know if we're still taking this off or not because we won't be able to get to the frame or anything like that until later on. But yeah, so, yeah, but, and now I'm trying to take these bed rails out because we don't want the bed rails in here right now. Dad still wants me to put them in. I might, I guess, but uh, yeah, so I'm gonna start, we'll get back to working on these frame rails and yeah. All right, guys, she is outside. The fog lights are all wired up. The mirrors are wired up. This thing is bright. It's not even full headlights up. That's a full headlight. Crazy. Man, you got mirrors. They're flashing uh, fast. I don't know why, but we're just going to roll with it. But it looks very, 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 very good. is done uh, with lighting, kind of, but it's every time it's out, and then when it's out, and then I got my roll pan. But yeah, it's cold, I'm going to take the picture of front end, and I'm going to get this video uploaded, because that is it for this video, I'm down, for this video i got to edit this and get this uploaded, and then, uh, yeah.